All right, so just got done with my checkup. Baby girl is looking good. We are officially gonna be around term this weekend, next week. So I'm hoping <laughs> she decides she would like to come. Do you hear that baby girl? Um, it's uh, again, crazy to be pregnant during this time, trying to uh, make light of it and you know, thank God my uh, doctor is really funny and he was like making jokes the whole time and the appointments keeps my mind off the fact that like, you know, it's uh, not the same. Um, so yeah, just ready for her, ready to be holding her and no longer have her here in my belly. Um, but I'm glad that she's been, you know, safe and everything and um, huh, yeah, it's a world of emotions. Um, on my car so I can technically um, you know take this off because I'm not um, around anyone just uh, huh. my mama is feeling the uncomfortableness just sitting in my car just got done nice big baby bump she's about here I am dilated a little bit um, and uh, 100% effaced, but placenta is still um, posterior and you know it needs to go anterior. So, yeah, you know, um, that's really about it. Um, luckily, I uh, love this doctor, he's super, um, Dr. Brock is very, very um, feedback supportive um, and not just tolerant, he's like really supportive. So, he is very much, um, you know, letting me just let baby come, you know, way baby's supposed to, and, you know, um, just waiting for her to arrive, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm done, um, I'm so uncomfortable, and I've had, like, 12 days now of the padromal labor, um, that's just, like, intense, and then, um, I had early contractions last night that were just, like, you know, it ended up being irregular, but I thought maybe something was happening. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's a waiting game, as he said to me today. Um, and if, uh, I don't happen to have her this weekend, then we'll go into the, you know, the two, um, appointments next week because I am at term. He wants to make sure her fluids are good and everything looks good with her. Um, and me and everything and make sure everything's extra healthy, but you know, everything's been good. So should be totally fine, but I'm hoping that we won't <laughs> get to that. And, uh, maybe she'll just want to come this weekend. It's crazy because at 28 weeks, she was really low. Um, she still is lower now, but she was really low and he was really concerned and put me on not really bed rest, but like, uh, mini bed rest if you will um and he was just like try to rest and this was like right before you know quarantine and all of this happened with social distancing so it was kind of like really within the same around time so I was able to then rest more just because Justin was home and I had that support versus being home on my own with Amelia and you know my toddler and just having to be mom life and then working and everything else um so it was a blessing in disguise and um in that sense um but yeah so anyways um pregnancy brain lost my hair of thought but basically like it's crazy to think at that time they were thinking about oh what if she comes early you know will she be safe and she would have been because she was you know big enough and everything was healthy with fluids and everything and now we're here and it's like oh my gosh baby girl <laughs> you psyched us out like is this gonna be your personality so yeah I still haven't found a name for her. I'm still trying to navigate that and figure it out. I feel like I really just need to see her. Such a weird time and so much emotion and so much just, you know, not certain and everything. So I just, I don't know. So we'll see. So baby watch.